Then comes the HR waste CSR. We are all part of organization is run by people, right? And the people are the asset for the company. Now to improve the well-being of the staff is also part of the CSR activity. And here comes the opportunity for the company secretary. Now, hitherto only HR was considered to be somebody who has capacity or who is doing something for the organization, for the people. But company secretary through this CSR can get connected with actually the welfare activity for the employees and can get, you know, part of the welfare of the people working for the company. And then comes the philanthropy to donate money for good cause, usually to charity. And this is not something new. Birla Mandir is a very nice example. I don't think uh, any city where we go has, uh, you know, Many, many, many uh, such monuments will be available which are funded by corporate houses. And that is what I think has been given the shape of a legislator. This is something which all of us must preach and we have to tell, go back to the management and tell and educate them that CSR is not something which we are imposed upon, I think, as a natural uh, 